with everyone's permission. Um, welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Anthony Basil. I'm with the Computing School and welcome Matt, um, who is the lecturer with the Business School. And um, welcome to everyone um, who uh, is attending today in both groups um, for our business simulation. Um, I'm, I'm very, very pleased that we have such a good turnout and um, look forward to our little experiment here. We are going to try to keep this within an hour, um, so we've got to move quickly. Please at any time post questions or comments in the text chat because our computing UX user experience students are going to take those comments and they are going to use that to help change the design of the GoVenture website and the game itself, the simulation itself. The follow up to this is that we will be assigning um, some of the business students to one of two groups for the master's um, uh, UX students, and they will be following up. They will be contacting you uh, by email um, to arrange um, some data collection. That means that you might be asked to do a, an online survey. It would only take a couple minutes. It's not a, a, a lot. And they might invite you to our UX lab um, in the JM building for uh, 12 or 413, where you would actually get a, a, an opportunity to experience what it's like to go through the research and development process uh, for developing, say, a business simulation. Um, that can be done in person or online, and the students will be contacting you to follow that up. Um, uh, oh, that's OK. Yes, Francisco. Yes, I, I haven't put it uh, completely over yet um, like like this. That's what I do once I'm done with with my video bit. Thank you very much for that. That's great to see the interaction. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to toggle to the PowerPoint slides um, as a guide. I'll have that as a, a resource available along with some uh, video recordings and things that will be linked to it later. Um, and um, uh, and and we're going to the format will be to actually uh, play the live game here. So let's get going. Um, I've, I've done the introduction already for um, our simulation. Um, we'll do the induction. Then we're going to do a live walkthrough um, of the of the uh, game. Hopefully everything is going to work. And then the last bit will be um, to remind everyone that please, please, please um, take some time to work with the computing students um, for their data collection, for their follow up uh, um, research. So. Um, what we have here is um, the uh, uh, video. Um, introduction um, of the um, the Go Venture Entrepreneur game, which I can put into the text chat as well. Um, I'm, I'm about to play that um, video for you, so you have an opportunity to to see um, the the context of the game that we're we're playing. So let me show you the website. This is the uh, the the Go Venture. Um, website, and if you scroll down, you'll see there's an introduction video. Um, we'll be watching that, and then you'll also see, if you scroll down a little further, some uh, information about the Lemonade Stand. That's the game that we're going to be playing. And um, very important, the link to the free trial. Now, what we're going to do is give you an opportunity to do a group um, experience with the game. But as a follow up, we are encouraging everyone, if you have not yet done so, go to the website, which is this website here, goventure.net, and then go through the tutorial again yourself um, and play the game yourself. Um, we can do that in conjunction with the uh, um, computing students 
which um, may uh, ask you to um, do some recording and things like that with it. So that's a follow up. Let's get going right away now on on the um, uh, induction. Here we go. I'm just going to let that play. If it wants to. <laughs> All right, it's it's acting a little slow at the moment. Uh, let me refresh the screen. I had the video going a moment ago. This is the problem with Matt with doing live um, experiments. All right, Trey. <laughs> Lemonade stand. OK, here we go. Demo. There we go. Maybe I clicked the wrong one. This is it. OK, and we're buffering and. Hey there, here's a quick it. demo of the Lemonade Stand business simulation that is part of GoVenture Entrepreneur. So GoVenture Entrepreneur has three levels of businesses. It has starts with a Lemonade Stand, then you can level up to a kiosk, and then you can level up further to a full business. This is a quick demo of the Lemonade Stand uh, component. And Lemonade Stand is a really great introductory level simulation. You could play it for a little bit of time or a lot of time. It's also a great tutorial for students who are gonna progress beyond the Lemonade Stand to kiosk and full business. So you can stay in Lemonade Stand for several hours if you like, or you can just do it as a tutorial before you progress to the other businesses. So let's go ahead and uh, start this now. The first step is to walk through a tutorial that explains to us how to set up our business. So we're provided with $100 to start the business. Then we can name our business and let's call this Lemons and choose a logo for our business. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And then we can uh, view our smartphone that gives us information like the current day. So the simulation runs daily or simulated days and the simulated day takes about one or two minutes to play and the amount of cash we have in our sales and so on. Let's continue. Our menu gives us access to a variety of options. We can review our consumer profile. So this is our neighborhood uh, where we're gonna settle our lemonades. And the cool thing is as we become successful, we can actually set up in different parts of the neighborhood and have multiple lemonade stands at the same time. But initially we have to choose a location and there's different consumer psychographics in each location. I'm gonna stay in Peachtree for now because that's where we're gonna start off as. All right, let's keep on going here. And we're gonna choose a design for a lemonade stand. Let's choose that one. All right, that cost us $50. So we can see our cash is now down to $50 from the 100 that we started with. And it's telling us that we have to make, lem make and sell lemonade. And lemonade is made with water, lemons, sugar, and cups. And we mix it all together. And we can buy these ingredients at the grocery store. So here's a little grocery store map icon and we can go to the grocery store by clicking it and then we can buy a certain amount now it's telling us to start with 20 of each so let's go ahead and buy 20 of each and notice there's an actual discount based on volume and we're going to start with 20. it's going to cost us 17 dollars we, we have 50 so we have enough money to pay for this so let's go ahead and buy that all right so we've got our inventory down to 33 dollars in cash let's continue this is our inventory table which shows us the quantity of inventory that we have then we go to the recipe. So this is where we set the quality of our of our lemonade. And what you can notice we can choose sour and watery or sweet and lemony or something in between. So sour and watery is not gonna be uh, favored by our customers, but it's least expensive to make. So I can actually hold a lower price. Whereas sweet and lemony is more delicious for our customers, but costs me a lot more to make. And so it's, what it's telling us here, the tutorial is to actually set it somewhere in the middle at the dollar and 20. So there's our cost of goods. It's actually calculating the cost of the of this recipe at a dollar 20 per cup. So this get, this signals me that I've got to sell this for more than a dollar 20 a cup. Let's go ahead and click that. So there's our recipe. It's uh, we'll see the little number one because that designates our key, our uh, lemonade stand number one. And we'll be able to start uh, second and third lemonade stand later. All right, so now we have to set our price. And it's telling us to set our price at $2. So let's go ahead and do that. So that'll make sure we make some money because that's more than our cost of goods. All right. 
All right, so when we're going to we're going to open our business in a moment, and we're going to have to click a plus button to mix the lemonade. So every time we want to make lemonade, we actually have to click the plus button to mix it. Now that's not going to happen in the more advanced simulations when we move out, move up to kiosk and full business. There's going to be too much going on, so we won't have to click anything to make our products. But here it just keeps it a little bit more engaging and fun in the lemonade stand business. All right, so let's go ahead and open for business. We're now ready. We've got our inventory, we've got our price, we've got a recipe. Let's open for business. All right, here we go. So you can see little customers are coming up. Let's go ahead and quickly mix our lemonade so we don't miss out on any sales. And we're gonna hear some uh, some dings and that's our customers buying our lemonade and I'm not serving them fast enough. I gotta speed up here. And you'll notice the little icons floating above our lemonade stand. That's our customer feedback. So you can see faces uh, representing whether our customer is happy or unhappy or somewhere in between. And also the little icons that represent uh, how they feel about specific aspects of our business, like our price or our quality and our speed of service. Now, I've actually run out of in, uh, run out of, run out of inventory. You can see I'm actually zero lemons and zero sugar, so I can't make it sell anymore. So I've just learned a valuable lesson is to make sure I have enough inventory. But here's the here's the interesting thing is I don't want to buy too much inventory because it uh, I may not have enough cash to buy more inventory. But also, there is damage and spoilage. So you can see that some of our water has actually spoiled or got spilled. And if I had too much inventory, I might actually get higher spoilage. So I've got to balance ordering and forecasting how much inventory I should buy and not buy too much or too little. And so at the end of the day, I can see I served 10 customers. I lost 14. So I've actually lost more customers than I served because I ran out of lemonade. And uh, I sold 10 cups. $2 a cup means $20 in sales revenue. Cost of goods, $12. My gross profit is 8 and my gross profit margin is 40%. Now, don't worry if students don't understand these terms because we actually have built-in micro-learning that teaches those terms. And even just by playing, even without the micro-learning, just by playing this experience, students will start to understand what that is. Okay, we're gonna stop the, the tutorial there. It gets it, There's more that you can have a look at um, uh, in your own time, um, but that's the essence of the game. And, and the real um, thing that we wanna do today is play a live game together as a group with this recording um, to give uh, the UX um, uh, students an opportunity to see how you as students are engaging with the game. So in a moment, I'm going to switch to a live game. And what I'm going to do, um, uh, Ed, is have the text chat um, open on the side. That's why I don't have the full screen, so that we so that we can um, m uh, do things that you tell us to. So if people have comments or or uh, we have a, make a decision about um, how how much money we put in or um, how much water or juice or anything like that, uh, we we will uh, be looking for for you to make a prompt in the text chat. Now, Matt, you're the exception to the rule. Um, you're welcome to put your microphone on that in the case we have some shy students, you know, if we have some, nobody making any comment or, or decisions in the game, when we uh, go to the live version, um, do feel free to throw your microphone on and make a prompt and say, well, why don't you, you know, select this? Because I'm not the business person. I don't know what's going to make the profit. I have to tell you, I when I tried it the first time, I failed so miserably. So, you know, do jump in, <laughs> Matt, you know, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> cool. to help us out. All right, here we go. Let's let's do this live now. This is the real game now. I hope it's uh, stayed. Uh, yep, click the play. And um, we are now playing the live version. All right, so um, it, we're going to start with the, this. You've got $100, uh, a business name. Quick, somebody throw out a business name for me in the text chat, and that's what we'll call it. Students, business students, give us a business name quickly. Type in the text chat. This is where you're you're contributing to the game, business students. Type into the text chat now, please. <laughs> Come on, guys. Any, Just any make idea up any name. name. <laughs> Matt, go ahead. Shoot, because we can't stay in this too long. Cool. Give us a uh, business name, Matt. Uh, Let's go with no, no name. There you go. That's the bit. Oh, there you go. Humpty Dumpty. There we go. Oh, Hold on. Here we go. Humpty <laughs> Dumpty. Okay. Humpty Dumpty. Brilliant. Okay. 
All right, now, um, well done. A uh, smartphone shows you the business, okay? So this symbol here appears to be some kind of smartphone. Down below here, we've got something that looks like a menu. I guess those lines mean menu. Um, and where the, our location is going to be fixed in this uh, free temporary game. Um, we'll set up a basic kiosk uh, with the people in the neighborhood. And now we need to choose one. So tell me, people, the left middle or right left middle or right which one do you want pop it in the text chat or matt if we don't have anything um <laughs> middle we've got okay well done james thank you all right now we've got 50 uh, american dollars uh to spend and um uh we're gonna make the lemonade with mixing water milk water sugar uh, etc um da, la, 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 la. you can buy everything you need by visiting the grocery store right there okay oh oh all right now what do i have to do i'm i'm going to uh, do something about servings um numbers okay so i click on this and what am i clicking what do i have to do 20 20 lemons okay um 20 again 20 again 20 again Oh, 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 is that right? 20. Yeah. And then say buy. Oh, oh, oh. So I've got 33 American dollars remaining. Oh, gosh, I'm nervous. Um, table, sub, blah, blah, blah. what am I doing? Quantity. How much? Um, you can buy more inventory um, anytime. OK. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Now, here's my recipe. Where where do you guys want me to put the recipe? Is it sweet, middle, what? What, what am I doing on this? Does it say what to do? Oh, put, oh, but the slider says to put it to 120. I think that's 120. Is that right? Okay. All right. Now, next, um, I'm what am I doing now? Um, uh, keep in mind that the customers, okay, unhappy customers, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. And now what am I doing? Um, I'm a bit lost. Set the price. It says 120. The price is for 120 for our practice. Oh, where is that? 120, way down here in the bottom. I think we're supposed to set it to 120 for now, but then we do get to do another one later. All right. Now what do I do? Is that it? It's open for business. How do I how do I start it? Somebody jump in and, and help me out here. Reports start. Okay, it's that one. This means you can make to, get a, to sell one cup of lemon closed. Okay, how do I make it open? Open for business. All right, each that this means da da da. Okay, twenty. My is am I doing it right? Price info. Okay, how do I actually get it to start now? I think you need to set it to two two dollars. Oh, okay. Let's see. Two dollars. Ah, well done. Thank you, Jacqueline. All right. Um, it, so it wasn't one twenty. Two dollars. Okay. Now what? Um, next. Da, 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 click the button to mix and pour. Okay. And da, 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 try to mix your quickly. Okay. And open. Open. Oh, oh, we're open for business. What's happening? Help me, students. Tell me what to do. I. Uh. Oh, it looks like these are people. Help me. What do I do? Um. Oh. 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 Uh, the plus. Maybe it's the plus. All right. There we go. Oh. I think that's pouring the lemonade. Are we doing it right? Is this? You, you guys have to prompt me. Put me some text comments. And what? What? What was that sound? <clears throat> How much time do I have? Is there a time limit? <laughs> Anthony, I think there's oh, a slight no. delay on us seeing the video. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Well, do you see the screen now? It says um, results day one. Oh, let's see. Apparently, I served seven customers and lost 17. I don't think that's good. I'm not a business person, but I think that's a bad ratio. Product sold seven, revenue fourteen dollars. Cost of the goods eight. Well, I guess that's good because I made more than I spent. I guess 
gross profit 560 and and then uh i don't know what do these mean lemon there's one lemon left is that right it's students spoiled lemon so and damaged then, goods <laughs> You lost a bit. That's okay. okay. So, oh, I see. So I lost a lemon, and I lost four cups of what? Uh, four cups. Okay, and then water. Okay. So I'm uh, I'm guessing that that's not too bad. First, the first time I first did it, day. I only served one customer. <laughs> <laughs> you learned All right. the first day. So I'll say. So I'll say okay. And that is. That is the 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 demo, I think. So next, I think what we can do is we can actually decide things ourselves. So what we you now I need to have you students, okay, students, now it's up to you to tell me what to do. All right, you've seen the demo, put in the text chat. Again, Matt, you know, we don't want too much dead time. If if people aren't telling me, you know, change the price, buy more of this, you know, do that, then um, I'm, you know, we, we've only got about another 10, 15 minutes that we want to actually play this stage of the game, but it's from instructions from the students. All right. And and Matt, you know, you, you can jump in as as a student, uh, I guess, as this is uh, for backup. All right. So. Any questions before we begin the next stage of this live simulation, which I'm finding very stimulating. I'm stressed because I don't know. I'm not good at business. All right. What do I do? Guys, business students, computing students are just observing and, re and seeing the recording. Where do I go now? I'm ready to play this thing live. Do I click open for business? Do I do that? Or tell me, put in the text here. What do you think I should be doing? It looks like I can do. Oh, it looks like I can do something with money. What is this about here? The weather forecast. Maybe change the recipe according to Noel, no, Noella. What? Oh, this is the recipe. How do I do that? Do I? Then you can try it. Click. Ah, ah, um, ah. Okay. And now, what do you want me to do, no, Noella? Go. Move this somehow. Do you want it sweeter? Didn't they say something about the sweeter it is, the more expensive it is, or something like that? Make it sweeter. Okay, I like I like it. She's she's in command. Is that far enough? Lloyd says we need to buy more supplies before we open. Okay. Am I done with this then, Noella? James says purchase more inventory. Oh, he seems to agree with Lloyd. So I guess is that sweet enough, Noella? Uh should I go go farther? I'm not hearing anything. Make it sweeter, she said. Okay, I'll go all the way, sweetest all the way. Inventory, this part here, buy. Okay, Lloyd and James, thank you for contributing. What am I, what, what am I buying this time? Last time it was 20, should I buy more? Put in the text here, how much lemons do you want? Or how much can we afford? How much money do we have? Quick, 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 guys. This is uh, on, on the timer. So you definitely need to increase your price. More, oh, the price. I think we're on inventory at the moment. All right, okay. Should I go up to 40? Yeah. That's going to so. take me from five to, yeah, 40 it is? Yeah. All right. And what about the sugar? I'm guessing if we buy more lemons, we're going to need more sugar, especially because yeah. didn't um, Noella say she wanted it really super sweet? Yeah, so you buy, need to buy more sugar, higher percentage of sugar than How your much lemons. More, more le okay, so 75? Guys, uh, James, what do you think? You told me to buy stuff. Give me some feedback here. Don't worry, it's just the game, James. You won't be, you won't be fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for 75. <laughs> water. Did we run out of water last time? As much? I don't know how much we can afford. We're at 14, and how much did that we have? We had 50 or something. 47 pounds, it says over here, cash. Quick, do add it up. Cool. Eight, 50 and 6 pounds. So we do more water? Yep. James, what do you reckon? Nope. How much? 100? Can we afford that? 
Okay, let's do 100. Oh, wait, was that? No, that was cups. Oh, oh, am I doing too many cups? Well, I, I suppose we can recycle the cups, can't we? And how much water? Is it one one unit of water for, for thing that we sell? So if we have 100, am I, I'm probably over, over the price now, aren't I? Let's see, if we said that 54, oh, oh, that's too much. Are we allowed to be in deficit? I don't know. Let's go less. Let's not let's, let's not go, go into less. deficit. Forty three. Okay. All right. So then buy it. Uh, buy. Give me a thumbs up. Buy. Guys, guys at uh, at home here, give me a thumbs up if you in the in in the in it on the on here like this. Matt, Matt <clears throat> is going thumbs up on the video. People are there saying buy four. I got four. Yes, yes. Once going once, twice, five people say bye. Nobody says don't. Okay, <laughs> Ricardo, it's all on you now. You said bye. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so stressful. Um, what do I do now? What What's next? The delay in the video is making it hard to see. Oh, sorry, James. Uh, I think that's due to the screen share. When you play the game yourself in real time, and make the recording, um, you know, it'll it'll be uh, much much uh, smoother, I think. Okay, so at this point, we've um, done the recipe, we've done the inventory price. Did we do the price, Matt? Because you said something about change the price. Yeah, I think if you're making what was a it? more expensive product, you need to increase the the price a little bit, but don't go up too much because you don't want to put people okay. customers off. All right, what? Okay, so what? It goes up in twenty cents. Increments. What dollars? What dollars, guys? Throw in, throw in the text chat for me. What do you think? For for, it, we were two American dollars last time. Give me in the text chat. Where do you think we should go? It looks like the top limit is three fifty, but we've increased five. <laughs> but oh. We can only go. <laughs> we can only go to three fifty. It looks like in the game. James says 260. So from our original $2, 350. Lloyd, somewhere um uh, uh somewhere between 260 and 350. Okay, that's the range that Lloyd and James is giving us. So what's halfway? 260 to 350, maybe three pounds, three dollars rather? What do you think, Matt? 290, I think. That's about 290. About Oh, that's a businessy thing, isn't it? Keep it under a certain price. Like, you know, they usually say like two ninety nine. Yeah. You know, and that makes you think it's two pounds, not three. All right. Okay. And and now whew, all right, now what do I do? I are we ready to open for business? How much does it cost to make it? No, yeah. Noella, no, before I stay open for question. business. Um to make it. Well, oh, um, um, how much is it costing to make it? Well, wasn't it the uh, the sum of all of those um, prices that we put in? So, so can I can I see? Oh no, no, oh, that's the wrong one. That's the street. All right, hold on. I think we have to stay on the same street because we're because this is the one. Yeah. Inventory. So, oh, 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 no, no, no. We can't the see. right question there. We, so we already did. Anthony, is it possible to see the uh, the recipe and how much it costs per per item? Um, I have no idea. Let's maybe click on the menu. Is it about quit playing? We don't want to quit. Oh, leaderboards. That we didn't really mention that. Once we actually get our score, we can go and see everybody in the world that's played this. It's great. About help. Should I try the help? We only have yeah, a couple uh, minutes left before we really recipe. need to play. So that's that's interesting with the customer profiles there, everyone. So it says Peach Street, average price. So we don't want to charge too much, but they do have expectations of quality. So we could... Okay, should I press help or no? Just close the menu. Yeah, close the menu. I think go to recipe. Okay. Recipe. Or go to uh, price info. Oh, Oh, this this has got some information here about the cost, isn't it? 
Can't, you want me to cancel? Yeah, cancel, cancel that one. Or, okay. Yeah, close that menu. Guys at home, go, put, students, help us out. Tell us what to do. I think go to the price. Reports? No, that's from before, I think. What, sorry, Matt, where do you want me to go to? Go to price info. Just to see how much it costs. Price so to info. answer Noelia's question about how much it costs to make each, uh, each Oh, When cut. I pressed on price info, it's giving me average price and quality expectations. Willing to pay more. OK, we're so. Oh, OK. So our customer profile, and this is something important for our computing UX people, you know, because the business students are the customers for this game. The, they want average price and quality. Oh, oh, oh. So when we are doing the price, is that average? I would say so. And, and is, our is, our, is our recipe average quality? Maybe it's on the high end. One more minute, and then I need to start the open for business. So I think it's, a, it's, it's about understanding how much it costs to make one one cup. So we need to work out that. Okay, James is saying make everything average. But the product is above average at the moment. What's your advice, guys? Because we're running out of time. Average yeah, price, that... above average product. Stay with that. It looks like it looks like Europe is agreeing with James. What do you think, Matt? Should we just run with it and go? I think if we can't see the how much it costs to make it, yeah, I think we should just go for it. Open for business. Test right, the product. Okay. This is all part of the game analysis because you are asking a really good question. I can't find on the menu anywhere to the answer to your question. Yeah, maybe maybe when we finish it, we get a report. Maybe there's something with a report. It was on the recipe, was it? You want me to just go back to the recipe, Jacqueline? Oh, oh, she's right. There's something here about price. Estimated cost to make one cup. Is that's what you wanted, Matt, isn't it? Yep, that's right. 161, okay, and and we're charging 290. So Good. is that okay. giving that's... us that profit ratio yep. that you wanted? Yeah, well I done, Jacqueline. Give her bonus points. Yeah, Noelia, did I bonus answer your... points? I'm, we're gonna pay, we're gonna pay you twice what you're getting paid now, Jacqueline. Here we go. It's open. Oh, oh. What do I do now? I forgot. Guys, at home, tell me what. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, the plus. Okay. It's answered my question. Yeah. I, what do I just keep pre press plus? Jacqueline says press plus. Just keep pressing it, Jacqueline. I think I'm you need going to as fast open. as I can. You need to be open for business. I think it's green. It says open for okay, business. Okay. And, it, and, it, and it. it's <laughs> letting me hit the plus. I'm not sure what you're seeing. Uh, oh, oh, I'm out of inventory. Oh, so that's not good. Maybe we didn't make enough. It's frozen. Oh, no, Josh. So Josh says he can't see it. Is it? Oh, it's all good now. All right. Oh, sh good. All right. Oh. So this is the result of day two. Oh, that was stressful for me. <laughs> all right. Matt, Matt, tell I can't remember what we did before. I think 11 customers. I think we had less last time, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Yeah. So we had more more sales, which is good. The gross profit margin more sales. is is decent it can still go up because we we had more customers so we just need to we need to buy more inventory because it's obviously popular at the moment would everybody agree with that guys oh maybe oh, because the weather was hot they, yeah. they had that little thing with the sun about the weather yeah okay so, yeah, i'm getting definitely. thumbs up from james yeah yeah so definitely buy more inventory Next, okay, so if we, I don't think this is all they'll let us do for the free one. Should I say okay, or or do you guys need to do a screen grab or something? It's going to be recorded, so we can go back and and look at that anyway. So I guess I'll say okay now. 
and end of the lemonade trial. Oh, can I see the report? Oh, oh no, it won't let me see reports. Oh, that's cheeky. They the, the free one won't let us see the reports, but I guess we saw a bit of a summary and we have the recording from the first one. You guys can you can analyze that and see what's next. I think that's it. OK, so we're going to stop here because this is the next stage of the game. But for our computing UX um, um, experience, we're just doing the, the lemonade stand. So I think. Ooh, <laughs> I'm tired from that. I think that that is what um, what we wanted to do for our experiment today. Um, now, um, it, looking back at the slides, can uh, can you see the PPT? All right, if you can see the PowerPoint slide, give me a thumbs up on here, please. Thumbs up like that. If you can see the PowerPoint slide. Ed, you're allowed to do that too if you want. That helps me out. I yeah, it's not uh, showing. Oh, up James yet. is giving it's not. Oh, I see. This is there's a delay, isn't it? Yeah. James is giving me a thumbs down. I think it's because it's the screen share. Maybe maybe be oh now now I'm getting some thumbs up. People are going, they can they can you see it, Matt, now? Uh, it's just point. changed over, yeah, but it's still still got a bit of me in there. Oh, there we go. It's uh, oh, really it's very slow. Gradually getting there. It's the network, guys. Um, most people can't see it, so I'll wait until a moment, and, and hopefully you'll see the PowerPoint slide. In the meantime, um, on the slides, I'll, I'll people. There's some links. One of one of our computing students um, was kind enough to try the game as well, so we do have a video of of uh, her playing the game. Um, we're inviting people now to go to the website, scroll down to to you get to that link um, uh, where um, you'll have the opportunity to um, do like I did the free trial. There is a, 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 a free registration um, that they ask from you, um, and then you can go in and, and do the game like we did. It, you'll have more time. You can play it at your own pace and, and kind of look and analyze that a little bit more. How, how is it looking, Matt, now? Can you see the PowerPoint now? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, great. So we've got we've got the audio. The audio is working in real time, but not the video. Okay, so. Um, here in this slide, we're, we're saying again, you, you know, you might want to go through that tutorial again in your own time. Um, what's going to happen is we have a recording here of uh, 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 that I've put on my YouTube channel. I'll pop this in here. Um, OK, so you have a recording. That you can look at, at one of the students doing the game that might be helpful um and uh what's going to happen next is we are going to be asking our computing students the ux consultants to be contacting you we'll have two groups they'll be um, in the first instance uh probably emailing you um, a survey that they're putting together and the purpose of that survey is to get a profile, to get an overview of you, the clients, you, the business students using this game. So what we're trying to do is establish the user needs. What does that mean? That means that we are, uh, I'll stop the sharing, by the way, maybe that will help a, a little bit with the speed. Um, what, what does this mean? This means that we, we want to get um, uh, an understanding of the client, the the like in the game, you know, they were trying to say about, you know, what how much money they want to spend and things like that. We need that from the users of this simulation to find out what your expectations are. And then we want to identify where the game fails, where the website fails. The, the UX students are going to do a prototype. They're going to mock up some changes. 
and then ask you, the business students, is this an improvement? Is this better or not? OK, and you need to be honest. Don't just say, you know, what you, you know, they they want to hear, you know, be tough with them. And um, and then they'll write up a report. We're we're more than happy to give you access to that. Um, additionally, uh, Matt, did I tell you that the that the um, UX students um, are going to do a presentation in in one month's time, um, like a Dragon's Den? I think I mentioned that. Yep. Yeah, cool. And yeah. we're inviting we're inviting you. We're inviting um, um, uh, any of the business students that want to come in. It's going to be in JM um, uh, 412. Um, uh, I think it's the 5th of uh, March, if I'm remembering correctly, Tuesday, the 5th of March, 10 a.m. We're going to get some industry people involved. So it's going to be like a real dragon's den. Business students can come in, see the presentations that the, um, the the computing students are doing and ask them tough questions too, all right? So you're welcome to come in and join us for that. Um, and then the, the, you'll be able to see the finished reports that they're gonna do. And Matt, the exciting bit is uh, for, for us as lecturers um, in, in the previous um, uh, instance that we did with this, uh, this type of uh, user experience uh, simulation analysis, we published some international papers. So, and, and did a conference uh, talk as well. So what that means is business students, computing students, um, the, the contributions that you make will go to awards an international publication. And um, if you're interested in getting involved in that, let us know and we'll uh, uh, give you lots of research work to do. <laughs> cool. All Let's right, I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to stop the recording here at this point. And we did it all right for 45 minutes. That's not bad. Cool. And we'll, we, we've got, I think, about another five uh, 